G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time once again. And today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Jose Cantina Gluten-Free Cheesy Beef Quesadillas. Yummy! Low Creo. Sink your teeth into some Mexican flavours. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Now this box is $6.50. You can probably pick it up cheaper on special. And just looking at here, they look pretty beefy, don't they? But I wonder how much beef is actually in them. Well, let's find out. <laughs> okay, well, ingredients. Beef filling 61%, which beef is 17%, cheese is 17%. Then it's got tomato 7%, with tomato 60%. <laughs> and uh, the outside is corn maize, uh, which is 51%. Now... 17% and 17%, that adds up to 34%, with 7% to tomatoes, that's like a 41%, so I don't know what on earth that is saying. Now, if these are any good, I wonder how many I can eat in a day. Oh, oh. Well, there's two servings per pack. One serving's 1,380 kilojoules, so two servings. Wait, that must be like 2,740 kilojoules, which is like, oh, I think it says on the back, 33% of your daily intake. Whoa! How about we crack it open and find out what they're like on the inside? Oh, okay, so, all right, right. So here's one of them. And you get two of them in the pack. Very. Into a stinks. All right. Well, how do we cook these things? Oh man, it's four ways. Well, you can either use a sandwich press for three and a half to four minutes. You can pan fry it for ten minutes. You can microwave it for three and a half to four minutes, or stick it in the oven for fifteen to twenty minutes at one hundred and eighty. Well, I reckon I might pan fry one and nuke the other. All right, so I've heated up a frying pan. I just oh god, yes. Yes, that's, that seems warm enough. Now, oh! Well, that one's split down the middle there, so anyway. We'll stick it in the frying pan. <laughs> and uh, I guess we just gotta wait for it to do its thing. Although I did say turn frequently on a low heat, so I better turn it down a bit. Don't wanna burn it. And I'll turn it over frequently. I'll stick this one in the nuka. All right, well, I'll put this one on a plate. Stick that in there. Yeah, I'll do it for four minutes. And this one over here, well, it's been going for like six minutes and well, it's slowly getting softer. That's what she said. Here we go. Here's the microwave one. <laughs> that doesn't look very appetizing, does it? But here is the frying pan one. That one's held its shape all right. And I didn't even see beans on there, but it's definitely got beans in there. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now how about we cut the one that doesn't look like roadkill in half. Boy, look at that top there. It seems very dry and crumbly and well, I probably shouldn't have tried to cut it. I should have probably just tried to lift it up. All right, okay. There you go, it's, there's your cheese and beef and beans. Some green stuff. <laughs> Bit of red stuff there too. It smells like you've just walked past a Mexican restaurant though. The scent of it isn't too bad, but yes, this one here is, leaves a lot to be desired. Although, hmm, anyway, I could try and scrape it back in. <sighs> Yeah, the perfect crime. 
All right, well, there it is. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure the Mexicans are dry reaching at the moment looking at that. Well, let's go. Hmm. Oh boy. It's got this graininess about it and this funny flavour. It is kind of cheesy. I mean, if you pick it up, <laughs> well, I did it before. There was a little bit of stringiness, but the this is the pan fried one, and uh, where the tortilla was hitting the frying pan, it's got a little bit hard in some areas, and a little bit tough to eat. Boy, that's pretty average. Let's try this microwaved version. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Tortillas are even harder. Oh. Oh. Huh. And the flavor, mate. It's just an absolute mess. Oh. Oh. Well, that was a waste of six fifty. Mate, these things are average at best. The flavour of them, yeah, it's got a little bit of Mexican flavour there, like the cumin or whatever they use. And but oh boy, I mean it's it's just nearly impossible to eat. And when you do try and eat it, you just want to spit it out. <laughs> These things, well, I mean they're not terrible. But you can guarantee one thing, they will never appear in my shopping cart or freezer ever again. The flavours just aren't there. It's falling apart. The taste is really average. There's nothing exciting about it. There's nothing great about the flavour of it. You could try and impress someone with it, but you might actually turn them away and then they'll unfriend you on all social media because that's what <laughs> that's the effect it's having on me oh Ugh. so what's my recommendation about the jose cantina cheesy beef quesadillas hey if someone pulls out one of these out of the freezer and says do you want one do this and say back away not my cup of tea but it could be yours if uh, you lost your tongue in a um, quesadilla eating accident. But uh, yeah, I, <laughs> definitely not something I'd be getting again. And well, I don't know how long these will stay in the supermarket, but <laughs> actually they'll probably stay in the supermarket for ages because no one will want to buy them. <laughs> anyway, there's uh, the Jose Cantina cheesy beef quesadillas. <laughs> Are you going to try them? Let me know in the comments down below. Thumb this video up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I eat some Mexican out of a box. See you then. Screw bloody grubber, mate. This is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger licking. You know it. Ooh, yeah.